Okay, uh, we are now going to make um, our basic muffins. So these will be blueberry muffins. Uh, we'll start by combining my wet ingredients and then sifting together my dry ingredients. Now, uh, muffins are part of our quick bread category. All of our quick breads are made using a chemical leavener, so baking powder, baking soda. Uh, in this case, we have baking powder. So I'm combining my liquid ingredients here, just mixing those together until combined. And this is our uh, muffin method. So within our uh, quick breads categories, we have different, three different mixing methods. We've got muffin method, we have our uh, biscuit method, and we've got a creaming method. And each one of these methods has a different type of fat that goes into that. So with our muffin method, it always calls for a liquid fat. In this case, we're using uh, melted butter. I stir this together and whisk my dry ingredients. Um, when we think of our biscuit method, remember that always uses a cold butter. So we cut a cold butter into our flour for biscuit method. And then creaming method, the butter should be softened. And uh, creaming method is the same method you've probably used before to make uh, your chocolate chip cookies or other cookies like that. So start by combining our wet ingredients and our dry ingredients. I'm gonna go ahead and add my dry ingredients now over here to my wet ingredients. Sorry, too many things in hand. Okay, now I'm just gonna mix this until it's about uh, two thirds of the way mixed. So once I get it, about two thirds of the way in, I'm gonna add the rest of my ingredients, which would be my melted butter and then my blueberries. So we don't wanna over mix our dough, just kinda of wanna mix it till it comes together. Uh, over mixing will develop more gluten in it and uh, that's not what we're looking for when we're making quick breads. It should be a nice uh, tender, moist product. So. The more mixing we do, uh, the tougher that gluten develops and the more chew that it has. So just mixing this till it comes together and I'm gonna go ahead and add my blueberries. I'm trying to strain off as much juice as possible so we don't end up with too much of a purple product here, although this might not be my best example. Okay, again, we're just folding this together until it's mixed. I've got my muffin can with muffin liners, and this is a number 16 scoop. So a two ounce scoop into each one of these. We wanna fill them about two thirds of the way full. So having a portion scoop will really make sure that we've got uh, a consistent product throughout. And our bake time will be the same for each one of these. We're gonna bake this at 375 degrees. Uh, we wanna bake them until we can insert a toothpick in it and it comes out clean. That's our best best method for determining the doneness of our muffins. Uh, it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so this is our blueberry muffins using our muffin method for mixing.